Hello everyone, welcome to Ship Plugin. Our plugin users often get confused about how to get the pro version and use it in the WordPress dashboard after purchasing the plugin. In this video, I will explain the full process of downloading and installing the pro plugin in your WordPress site. I assume that you have already completed the purchase. If you find any difficulties purchasing the plugin, please watch the video attached in the video description. First, you have to download the ProVersion zip file you have just purchased. To do that, go to shapeplugin.com. I am already in shapeplugin.com. Click Login. Insert the correct user information you have used to purchase the plugin like your email and password. Then click Login and you will be successfully logged into your Shape Plugin account. Now you are in your account dashboard. Go to File Downloads tab and click the download button to download the plugin zip file. As you can see, the plugin zip file has been downloaded successfully. Once you have done, go to your WordPress site dashboard. Navigate to the plugins. It doesn't matter if you are a free user of this plugin or not. Click Add New, then Upload Plugin, and look at the downloaded zip file here. Click Install Now, and then click Activate Plugin and you will be redirected to the plugin license activation page. This is the license activation field where you need to insert the license key to activate the plugin. To get the license key, go to your Shape Plugin account again and navigate to the license keys tab and copy the license key from here. Go back to the page and insert the license key on the license activation field and click on activate. The green active button indicates that the license key is successfully activated on your WordPress site. Now click add new to create a new shortcode with the pro features of the plugin. Now you may think what would happen to the free version as the free version of the plugin were installed in the plugins. As you can see this is the free version of the plugin. The answer is either you can keep it or deactivate and delete it. It's up to you. It is not needed anymore once you have the pro version installed. No data will be lost. All the shortcodes created with the free version will be carried to the pro version automatically. As you can see, if I go to the accordion groups, then you can see there are a few shortcuts already created which has been created with the free version of the plugin. I hope you have got a clear idea about downloading and installing the pro version of the plugin in your WordPress site. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.